Hey guys, fall is coming and it's starting to get a little bit colder throughout the day, especially when it starts raining. And then the moisture in my greenhouses doesn't want it to dissipate as fast as it normally does. And what you can see sometimes if your greenhouse is too wet, you can see mushrooms growing on top of mushrooms. I definitely see this with elm oyster and I see this with king oyster sometimes. It's just pretty rare because my mushrooms aren't really wet. So you get this formation where you get a mushroom growing on top of a mushroom and really all that is is that my greenhouse the temperature has dropped but it's been a little bit wetter than it likes and maybe a little bit of water stayed on the top of that cap and you get mushroom formation uh, we've had this problem in the past when our humidistats would malfunction and then our fans wouldn't go off we solved that with the relay that was a problem that we've definitely seen and and with our l moisture strain that was a huge problem years ago, but I really haven't seen that this year. And I'm starting to get this with our king oysters. It doesn't look really ideal. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with this, but I think what I'm going to be doing is probably just carving this right off just like that for the chefs. Just because I don't, I don't like seeing it. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with this mushroom. It's just an, a weird anomaly when your your grow rooms are a little bit too wet. So for us, we can see this as, as we move from spring into summer. And then if we get some cold shocks where it gets a little bit colder. And then moving into fall. I haven't really seen this with our L moisture this year. But there is definitely a little bit of that going on. But I thought I'd just share this with you guys. Our king oysters are, are beautiful. We grow these when it's cold and we're going to be doing these for probably the next three to four weeks and then uh, as it gets really cold these strains don't really do that well so this is just a quick fun crop that we're growing as we finish off our season we have six weeks left and then we're going to be shutting down because we're a seasonal mushroom farm but we have so much production right now it's crazy and i'm actually starting to look for new opportunities to move mushrooms we're still actually planning to double production next year. So we're going to have to look for new markets and new opportunities where we're looking for more bigger wholesale accounts. We'll get into that in other videos. All I want to tell you guys today is that this mutation is common. And if you see it, you're probably dealing with too wet of an environment. So you can solve that by adding more fresh oxygen into your grow rooms, reduce the humidity, Whatever you think might be the source, you need to figure that out so that your grow rooms are not running too wet. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you in the next video.